Hi Aries, welcome to your love read for the day. So I'm going to start off with an oracle message. This will be only for love. Let's do love. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. Okay, like that. Alright. So what are we getting here for Aries? Spirits for love and relationships. So for love, I would check your moon placement and your Venus, obviously. Your moon is what satisfies your emotions. And your the Venus is your the way you approach love. So if you have the moon in Aries, you could be very emotional, straightforward, assertive, aggressive. Um, you could also be very sensitive take things personally that could be moon and Aries if you have Venus in the sign then you just look at the sign and look at the energy of Venus and it really does make a difference the moon too so I have here express your love go ahead and make a romantic gesture and then I got a past life relationship. You've known each other for a long time. Okay, then I'm getting forgiving and learning. Release and heal the past. Separation, time apart. Interesting. Okay. Get one more of these uh, oracles. The one that flipped out is. Life is a great big canvas. Throw the paint, all the paint on it you can. Okay. So let's just move these drawing virtue cards over here. So I feel like the cards all work together, the Dorian Virtue cards, and um, I feel like all the messages combine. So it's basically just showing needing to express your love. Separation can just be like separating for the day, like when you go do something on your own. Forgiving and learning, past life relationship. Express your love. So you may have felt like you've known a person before. And there could be something with that. Okay, what are we getting here for Aries in love, please? Getting a queen of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very emotional, sensitive, caring. Could be a water sign around you. We do have the star card, Aquarius energy, healing, hope, letting something go, having a fresh start. Wow, you get the ace of swords, clarity, truth, and a victory. News or information. The world. So I had the world card in the daily in the same position. The world represents you went through the fool's journey, you started off. Um, not knowing something like a novice and then you come to the end and you've learned all the lessons in a situation you've learned seven of cups daydreaming confusion hit your heads in the clouds about something 
thinking about your options or opportunities. Ace of Rods, something thrilling, exciting, and um, something that is a new spark. Wow. Your energy here is the Ten of Coin, very grounded, stable, earth energy. We have here a Knight of Cups coming in towards you. Somebody with a romantic message, a poetic message. It could be an apology. Um, I was feeling apology because we have a Five of Wands as your fear, competition, or conflict. A sparring match. Eight of Pentacles fell out for love. I feel it's like you're preferring to work alone or do something by yourself. Okay. What is the Seven of Cups? Empress. Venus. Divine Feminine, Divine Motherhood, Abundant Energy, and the Four of Wands. Stable, Happy Home. So, what is the Eight of Pentacles for love, for Aries? Focusing on details, looking at specifics. Um, what's going on for Aries here, Eight of Pentacles? Virgo, trying to perfect something. Oh my goodness. We have the moon in the tower. So there could have been something that's happening here. Somebody could be coming towards you with an emotional message. Uh, what is this Ace of Swords? That's underlying this whole reading. Ooh, the judgment. A rebirth, a resurrection, something brought back up. A judge, day of judgment. Oh, wow. Somebody's coming towards you for advice here. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor. They don't know what to do. They are reaching out to you in some way. Needing your strength. Okay. What is the Knight of Cups here? The Hermit. Somebody is shedding light on a situation. A very wise person. They're giving you this Ace of Coin. A new opportunity, a gift. What is the Ace of Rods coming in? Oh, wow. The High Priestess. Very quiet energy. Um, keeping something to yourself. Oh, wow. Blocking. What is... So, the Eight of Coin comes in. The King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's looking very closely at a situation. We have here the Fool card. Fresh starts, new beginnings. Six of Air. Avoiding, blocking, moving on. Okay. Could be a return. Somebody returning. Oh my god. The cats are crazy. Mal, come here. Okay, so this is supposed to be a love reading. It looks like someone wants to come back around to you. Water sign in the crossing is the star. What is the outcome here? With the king of water. Four of swords. Resting. Peaceful. What is this energy for Aries? Oh my gosh. What is this energy for Aries as the outcome? Ace of water. Yeah, I mean, it looks like somebody's trying to reach out to you. And your Aries, your energy is ten of the coin. You're very stable. What is ten of coin? Ten of coin for Aries. Pay, here's this page of pentacles again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth, Energy, Messenger. Okay. What is the Emperor here? 
three of wands very ambitious could be the energy of avoiding someone what is the judgment six of coin somebody is trying to come in to balance the scales with you what is four of wands what is the four of wands? What is the goal achieved? Again, it's like blocking, feeling like you want to block this energy or feeling tired. Why is there a nine of wands? Okay, the sun card, happiness. What is the fool? King of Wands, Nine of Cups, a wish comes true or there's some kind of contentment here. Seven of Pentacles, somebody's thinking about you, Nine of Coin, it could be an earth sign, it could be a water sign, they could be sending you a message. Okay, so... I'm going to get a few more from the Dorian Virtue Romance Angels. Romantic feelings. Deception. Okay. So this five of coin, page of coin, this could be like someone who is lonely at the holidays <laughs> and they want to come back around because there's something about them feeling abandoned. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. worth waiting for could be a Virgo hermit and the ace of coin you deserve love okay I know this is a confusing reading you're getting some new information it could be from someone from your past they want to come back in and balance the scales so they could feel like they left you hanging the energy they're coming from here is it could be they feel like they owe you and so they want to come back around uh, the outcome here is a king of the water and the fool there was an ace of cups king of wands four of swords though you're in a ten of pentacles it could be that you're just very grounded there is a page of pentacles. Magician. Magician is you. So let's see. Page of cups. You may have caught someone's eye. Page of cups, six of wands. You caught their eye. All right. I'm going to leave it here, Aries. Thank you for tuning into your love read and take care.